Hi, and welcome to Performance Circle. Performance Circle is a social media inspired performance management system. And what I'm about to do is give you a very quick demo of what its capabilities are. So let me log in. This is a, a cloud based application. And today I'm logging in as Sudero, the VP of Human Resources for Catapult Systems. So I log into my system. And the very first thing that I see, and I'm a manager in this system, is my manager homepage. Uh, you can see this is, uh, this is me. I'm Sue in the upper left-hand corner. And the entire right-hand side of my screen, uh, the first thing that, that I see uh, is the real-time feedback that's coming in on the members of my team. So you can see at the top I have some feedback that's coming in on Tiffany Tucker. Uh, and then some feedback coming in on Hannah, and then Brad and Cindy, and some more feedback on Tiffany. And this feedback is coming in in real time uh, as various people around the company are posting feedback uh, on these individuals' performance. In the uh, left-hand side uh, of the screen, you can see that I can perform uh, certain tasks. I can uh, send feedback to someone in the company. In fact, let me do that. Uh, let's say that I that I walked in or just noticed that someone on my team is, uh, has done something uh, that I want to give some feedback on. Uh, in this case, let me pick um, maybe Emily. I'll pick this Emily, Emily Cowan, and I want to give her positive feedback. I could also give her constructive feedback. But in this case, it's positive. And I'm going to say, Emily, uh, thank you for helping us uh, with the recent Catapult Kids Day. And I have two choices. I can either send this feedback to the employee, in this case Emily, and her manager, or if it's feedback that I think is sensitive and I don't want to put my relationship with Emily at risk, I could say, you know, only send the feedback to Emily's manager. In this case, that's Emily Villanueva. In this case, it's positive feedback. I'm going to send it to both. So as soon as I hit send feedback, what just happened is Emily just, rece just received an email from the system indicating that she had received some feedback, uh, and she can log into the system uh, and see what that feedback is. Um, I can post comment on my own performance. It's a great way to, you know, to track my performance throughout the year. Uh, and we'll talk about these two other action items uh, in a little bit. Uh, down here, this is kind of my activity inbox. Uh, and I'm, I, I'm a little bit behind here. Uh, this is feedback that the system is requesting that I provide. Now, I also received an email uh, for, for, uh, for these requests, but they're still here in my inbox, and they'll, they'll stay there until, uh, until I complete them. So in this case, the system is uh, asking me to provide feedback on this employee's objective, uh, and uh, this employee, the topic is benefits renewal. So let me click on, on this. It's for... Uh, Brad in our company, and the text says, okay, Sue Darrow, in this case, again, I'm always the person logging in to do demos, so I'm, I'm asking myself to provide feedback. Please take a few minutes to provide performance feedback on how well this person performed during our 2010 benefits renewal. Great. I have the option of saying, you know, I, I, I'd rather not provide feedback. You know, maybe I don't have enough information, uh, and I'm not the best person. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and say I'm willing to. Same option as before. I can say manager and employee or manager only. And we only ask two questions. Very simple. Uh, how has the employee performed well? Uh, and how has the employee, or what are some areas for improvement? You'll notice that there's a little 300 here. Uh, we borrowed this from, uh, from Twitter. We really wanted to remove writer's block from this process. And so we limit the feedback to 300 characters or less. So as I start typing, uh, Brad really outdid himself et cetera, et cetera. You can see that up here, the number of characters uh, keeps decrementing. Uh, the same thing for uh, what are areas of, uh, you know, for improvement. In this case, I'll just say NA. Um, I'll hit send feedback, and there it is. Now, what you notice immediately on my screen, since Brad happens to report to me, that feedback appeared in my team's uh, feedback page immediately. So as his manager, 
I, f I can find out almost instantaneously when someone is providing feedback on their performance. Uh, my team, I'll click on the second tab. This is, uh, these are all my direct reports. Uh, and very, very quickly, I can, uh, I can open it up and see, have I assigned any objectives for, uh, for this person? In this case, uh, Angie has three objectives. Um, it says a complete PHR certification, find new sources for candidates, become HR certified. I could go and manage those objectives easily by just clicking on, on that. And, and here, what I could do is I could create new objectives um, for uh, Angie, or I could track objectives uh, against it. So for example, uh, or, or track performance feedback on, on a specific objective. So in this one, find new sources for candidates. If I want to make a comment on that objective, uh, I'll say track progress against that objective. Uh, and I can, in this case, the, the objective can be rated, so I'm going to give her a five stars. And I'm simply going to say, you know, really nice job finding uh, John Smith, um, our latest SharePoint candidate. Um, really hard to find. position. So when I, when I say send feedback, in this case, Angie gets the feedback. She gets an email indicating that, um, uh, that I posted some feedback on her performance. That feedback is also tracked against uh, that specific objective. And if I go back to, uh, to my page, since she reports to me, I also uh, got an indication that uh, someone posted performance feedback on Angie's objective. I can go to the feedback that I've received. Uh, and again, in this case, I always log in as myself, so I'm the only person providing feedback on my own performance. Uh, I can go, go see the feedback that I've provided over the, uh, uh, you know, over the course of, uh, of how I've used the, the system. And then I can go and, and manage and, and track my own objectives and post uh, or track progress or mark any of them as complete uh, as I see fit. So I'll go back to... Uh, to the main, uh, to my main uh, team page, and uh, I'm going to show one last, one last process here. I'm going to invite feedback uh, on, uh, on my, on some folks that work for me. So, uh, it's a little bit of a, of a wizard here. The first question is, do you want, do you want us to rate competencies or not? In this case, I'll say, um, no, that's not necessary. Um, and the feedback subject is, I'm going to call this the 2010. Benefits renewal. Please take a few minutes to provide some feedback on this person's performance during our 2010 benefits renewal process. And then it's going to ask me, well, do I want to invite all of my direct reports uh, as recipients uh, or, or just pick them individually? Let me pick them individually. And I will pick the providers individually as well. Uh, my first uh, recipient will be uh, Hannah, who was part of that process. And uh, I would like Hannah to provide feedback on herself. Um, I think I should provide feedback on Hannah, so I'm going to remind myself to do that. I also want to maybe our controller, Mr. Mike Alby, to provide feedback on HANA. And uh, I would also like um, uh, Cindy to provide feedback on HANA's performance. Uh, and the other person that I'm going to ask about is uh, Cindy. And I'm going to have Cindy provide feedback on herself. And I'm going to ask HANA to provide feedback on Cindy. And that's it. So then I hit next. It's about. It just confirms everything I've just selected. And as soon as I hit send invitations, it just sent an email to um, all of those folks, inviting them to provide feedback on. Uh, in this case, it was Hana and Cindy's performance during the last uh, benefits renewal process. And so uh, uh, here we go. It just came into my inbox right here. Uh, and if I click on it, um, it allows me to. Uh, again, comment on Hana's 
performance during our recent 2010 benefits renewal process. So that's it at a very high level. Uh, as you can see, this application should look familiar. It should look like many of the uh, uh, social media applications that you uh, already, already use. It's uh, pretty straightforward uh, and uh, pretty easy to use. Uh, and I hope uh, you have the opportunity to, uh, uh, to give it a try yourself.